So I recently played a game called Home Safety Hotline. Let's check it out. Okay, yeah, I mean, so where are the people to call? 555 Home Safety Hotline. I think it should be simple enough. Okay, it's Monday. Welcome to begin shift, please clock in below. Dude, it's like old fashioned clocking in too. Okay, so bed bugs, that's one of the things. Oh, we're getting a call already, okay. Howdy. Okay. Carol, you sound kind of dumb. I love that. They describe it as a family. Yeah, I applied to like 16 other jobs, dude. We're not family. It could be ants, but I feel like they would have noticed by now. Maybe it's cockroaches. Oh, it's it's definitely co cockroaches. Okay. Because it says they often report stuff looking like coffee grounds or something like that. My name is Grace, it's probably nothing, but I thought I'd call just in case. Lately, I can't sleep at night because of this annoying little... She sounds annoying, like it's not the sound coming from the attic, you idiot. It's you! Gnaw marks, small droppings, and sounds of squeaking. It might be mouse. Mice. Yeah, yeah, I think it's probably mice. If I can find it, did I skip it? Called you guys about some crap in my yard. I'm gonna go with gopher. This is like one of those hilarious 911 calls. <laughs> That's hilarious, dude. Okay, I don't think the mole is gonna leave large piles of stuff laying around the yard go ahead and put your, your your thoughts or your guesses in the chat garbage spills maybe not a raccoon oh maybe a gopher brown uh commonly damaging garden yeah it doesn't list the mole is like leaving large piles of stuff everywhere yeah actually you're right he might be mistaking that for crap i'm gonna just do the the mole i think it's supposed to get like really serious here in a second like something bad's about to go on howdy Hey, just calling to inform you. Uh, your been running wild. <laughs> running wild. Head on over and catch oh, dude, this this guy is creepy. Look at his nose. Tuesday. Okay. Home safety hotline. How can I help you? <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Dude's just kidding. <laughs> He's getting railed right now. I don't know how long I can keep him on hold. He might just die. Carbon monoxide. I feel like it's going to be carbon monoxide. Invisible, odorless, poisonous gas. Yeah, he's having trouble with pollen. That's the thing. Like, oh, I'm so dumb. It's obviously bees. Okay, that was too. Oh, 60%. I was like, I wonder how much I'm getting. I'm going to get. I was like, if it's not at least 60%, then I'm not going to be happy. But it was it was 60%. So I guess that works. All right, we're on Wednesday. False beat. That might be a new one. Hello. Hello. Oh my Hi, God, it's this lady again. What yeah, whatever, Carol. Like, like, which ones are new? False artifact. Uh, seemingly human design objects that can manifest suddenly inside a home. They're known for making a gentle buzzing sound that can usually be only be heard by very young human or small animals. Uh, false artifacts often report out of place objects or missing children or pets. Okay, so the only thing they can hear them are the people that go missing. That's wonderful. There's something in the basement. Man, I've seen it. <laughs> uh, is it, buddy? <laughs> you guys are running it. Jeez, it's only Wednesday and we're dealing with this. Well, she's dead. I mean, that's one thing to work with. Please hold, sir. Memory wisp or mirror nymph? I'm gonna go to memory wisp. Wait, wait, wait. Um, homeowners and visitors will often report missing pictures, photo albums, and the inability to remember the faces of loved ones. I feel like that would just be like, I can't remember what my m wife looks like, but if I look at her, I can see her face. What is tea sprite? Maybe this dude got drunk and he just 
thinks his wife's dead. I think Memory Wisp would be the one, but why does he think his wife is dead? I don't understand that. Maybe it's a Boggart. Convincingly false faces. Dangerous to humans and pets. Injury or death. Um, react violently when they see humans, but thankfully these instances are rare as they excel at staying hidden. Yeah, so it's not a bogger. More towards the top. There it is. Dude, this guy's gonna die by the time I actually pick out an answer. Okay. Carol here, you're fired. Do you think this is some kind of joke? Hey, Gary. Correction. You did not call me last week. It was someone else. Well, yeah, what would cause a- maybe termites? I'm just gonna start from the top and work my way down, I guess. Uh, I don't think it would be bats. Electric outages. It could be a bogger. Okay. Oh, 83%. That's not bad. What is this? Science mysteries. I want to see what it has. It's probably just teaching me, like, some of the new stuff. It's gonna have some kind of clue. Okay. One of humanity's oldest friends and oldest enemies lived alongside humans for centuries. Oh, it's gonna mention some like new stupid creature. This is a mus musculus, otherwise known as the common house mouse. The muscular mouse. And this is Mus musculus loquentis, a newly discovered species. They look the exact same. I don't see the problem. Colored iris, and more importantly, its increased intelligence. What does the squeak have to do with the universe? what seems to be hidden messages within. Let's take a listen. Within what? Within their squeaks? <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, what is the squeak gonna have to do with anything? Help me. That was so made up, dude. <laughs> like... No, because a man doesn't squeak, squeak, help me. Oh, no, these are like houses that are probably having problems. Four bed, five bath, $120,000. 2,100 square foot. Missing persons alert. I want to know who went missing, though. If it was a little child, it was definitely the, uh, like the mirror one or whatever. Yeah. Wait, that said twelve thousand dollars. Something's going on in that house. Yeah, yeah. Something's going on if that house was for sale for twelve thousand dollars. Okay, we're going into Thursday. Oh, there's there's no new ones. Okay. Okay. Carol. Thank you. Oh, never mind. Basements and underground cellars. Uh, frequently report cold drafts, strange dreams, and a strong desire to enter. Enter what? Oh, enter the dream. Okay. <laughs> I remember this one. I read something about this. I think it was the, uh, like one of the first ones we had. Yeah, I remember that one too. <laughs> I like this one. Oh, this one seems fun. Oh, the night hob. Yeah, and this is an older lady. It's the night gnome for sure. No. Or for no reason at all. Larry. There's something, there's something in my basement. I don't know what it is. All I know is when I opened my 
basement door. It smells like a damn sewer, and I can hear it making all kinds of horrible noise. Is this the guy that already called? It sounds like there might be a lot of water down there, too. Oh. I don't know what it might be doing down there, but I have a feeling it's causing a whole lot of damage. Please send somebody to help with this. I can't deal with something like this. Please hold. I know it may sound crazy. I'm going back to the frozen pipes. I don't think it could be the stair slug. He didn't say anything about pests, I don't think. But it's causing a whole lot of damage, so maybe there are pests coming in that are causing that. Frozen pipes would mean that all the water would be freezing, wouldn't it? This says higher humidity in the home, so maybe there's just a bunch of like water going down to the basement. I keep going back to Cellar Grotto. That's the only one that could make any sense for me. I'm just gonna do that one for right now. Hello, employee. Supervisor Carol here. We've been watching you for some time, and I must say that we have been rather disappointed. <laughs> They're gonna fire me. Here. Many of our callers' lives have been altered for the worse thanks to your negligent answers. Your failure to treat your work here with the gravity it deserves has unfortunately forced us to make a very difficult choice in regards to your continued employment at HSH. Well, Effective immediately, we're getting fired. Your employment here has been terminated. We <laughs> wish you the best in your future endeavors. That's life. So yeah, uh, as you can see, we only lasted four days. Four days, made it to Thursday, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's kind of unfortunate. But anyways, that's all I have for this video, you guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and uh, I hope to see you over on Twitch. I'm streaming there a good bit now, so it's going to be like mostly the weekends, Friday, um, like Monday, Tuesday, once in a while. But uh, yeah, that's it. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later.